Good afternoon, everyone. Today I'm going to talk about SIEP. And actually, we wanna, I'm going to try to get everyone to learn this very simple algorithm. Hope everyone can actually implement it after my talk. So web caches are very essential, uh, essential components of modern internet infrastructure. Cache is everywhere. And they are deployed in data centers, laptops, mobile phones, and browsers. There are different types of caches, like page cache and uh, various web cache. In the past decade, increasing number of web caches are deployed. And also, cache usually has very limited space to store objects. So the core for the cache performance is eviction algorithm. It decides which object to be evicted from the cache when it is full. Most of the cache eviction algorithms focus on improving efficiency, which is measured by cache miss ratio. A cache miss ratio is the fraction of requests not being served from cache. So the lower, the better. One major goal of designing a cache eviction algorithm is to achieve low cache miss ratio. Also, scalability is another important cache miss uh, metric. It is usually measured by the number of requests to serve a cache uh, per second. So the higher, the better. But many efficient eviction algorithms fail to achieve good scalability. Here is one example. We measure the throughput of LRU implemented in CacheLib with a Twitter production workload. LRU is widely adopted in production systems. And uh, CacheLib is a general purpose caching engine developed by Meta. Here, the blue dotted line shows how the throughput of LRU skills with an increasing number of threads. It is relatively flat and indicating despite adding more threads, the throughput does not increase. This also suggests that the standard LRU algorithm does not scale well. So meta engineers actually spend a lot of uh, efforts optimizing LRU to improve the scalability, as shown in this uh, solid dark blue line in this figure. Improving scalability for caching system with a current eviction algorithm such as LRU can be a headache for software engineers. Besides efficiency and scalability, I also want to talk about simplicity. Although it is not often used as a metric, simplicity is important for cache. Because the importance of cache, over the past six decades, numerous cache eviction algorithms have been developed. After some very simple eviction algorithms were proposed in 1960s, this area keeps evolving. Especially in the past two decades, there are a lot of new algorithms were uh, developed. Here, we use the color density to indicate the complexity of each algorithm. The darker the color, the co more complex the algorithm is. We can see the trend here. Cache eviction algorithms are getting more and more complex. Even though the new algorithms usually have higher efficiency, their complexity actually brings a lot of trouble. Complex algorithms are usually difficult to debug and maintain. Many complex eviction algorithms also involve a lot of parameters to be tuned. Having a surprising result is not uncommon based on our large-scale evaluations on web workloads. Therefore, most of, the pro most of the algorithms I have shown before are not adopted in production systems. As one Linux kernel developer said, predicting which pages will be accessed in the near future is tricky. And the kernel has evolved many mechanisms to improve uh, its chances to guess things right. But the kernel not only often gets it wrong, but also spends a lot of CPU time to make the incorrect choice. Here, we put the simplicity and efficiency into two axes and see where the state-of-art algorithms stand. We can see a group of algorithms such as FIFO, LRU, and the clock. They are very simple, easy to implement, but their efficiency are not very good. 
and we have another group of algorithms. They have much better efficiency, but uh, also they are way more complex. So is it possible to achieve both the high efficiency and the simplicity? Here we introduce SIF, a new cache eviction algorithm uh, specifically, specifically designed for web cache. It's both simple and efficient, and also it's more scalable than LRU. Now let's dive into the design of SIF and see how it achieves both simplicity and high efficiency. Before we talk about the details of SIF design, because it's so simple, I don't need to spend a lot of time about that. So uh, it's important to introduce some concepts of designing an efficient eviction algorithm. Recent studies have shown lazy promotion and the quick demotion are two important properties of efficient cache eviction algorithms. Lazy promotion refers to the strategy of promoting cached objects only at eviction time. For example, in this queue, the objects are inserted at the head of the queue and evicted at the tail of the queue. We only need to decide whether or not we want to promote this object when we are about to evict it. Lazy promotion aims to retain popular objects with minimal efforts. So it usually can improve its throughput because of the length computation. And it can also improve efficiency because we have more information about this object when we evict it. Efficient eviction algorithms not only need to retain popular objects in the cache, it also needs to evict unpopular objects as soon as possible. Quick demotion refers to most objects should be quickly removed from cache after they are inserted. To put it simply, if an object doesn't show high popularity after it's inserted into the cache, it should be quickly removed. As previous study has shown, most objects are one-hit wonders when evicted. So it's important to quickly remove those objects. So lazy promotion, quick demotion are two important properties for efficient cache eviction algorithms. But most algorithms don't have these properties. For example, LRU and FIFO are two simple eviction algorithms that are widely adopted in production systems. And both of them don't have lazy promotion, quick demotion. LRU promotes an object every time there is a cache hit. And FIFO doesn't do any promotion at all. Therefore, we can observe FIFO have very good scalability, but very poor free, uh, efficiency. And LRU has much better efficiency, but very poor scalability. There is another algorithm called FIFO reinsertion. It is a, it's also a very simple algorithm that applies lazy promotion. It only promotes an object when it is evicted as a tail. Compared to FIFO's data structure, FIFO reinsertion maintains a metadata for each object to indicate whether or not this object has been accessed after it's inserted. In this diagram, the highlighted object means this object has been accessed since it's inserted. If a request object is already in the cache, unlike FIFO doesn't do anything, FIFO reinsertion sets the object visited bit to one. When the request object is not in the cache, we check the object as a tail. And if the object has been accessed before, we reinsert, in, we reinsert this object into the head of the queue and reset the visited bit. As we can see, after the cache miss, the object K, which is originally at the tail, is moved to the head. But we still need to make room for the new objects, so we keep checking uh, the end of the, the, the objects at the tail. And here we can directly evict it because it hasn't been assessed before. And the new objects will just be inserted at the head of the queue. But just applying lazy promotion on FIFO, FIFO reinsertion achieves much better efficiency is even slightly better than our use efficiency. More importantly, FIFO reinsertion is able to keep good scalability. 
Finally, let's talk about Sieve and see how it applies both lazy promotion and quick demotion. Compared to a faithful reinsertion, Sieve has one extra hand that moves between the tail and the head of the queue. Sieve has a similar data structure as faithful reinsertion. It also maintains the metadata for each object to indicate whether or not this object has been assessed before. If we request an object that is already in the cache similarly, Sieve also sets the object with the bit to one. And the main difference uh, is how Sieve evict object from the cache. When the request object is not in the cache, we check the object where the sieve hand points. Currently, the sieve hand is pointing the object at the tail, which has the visited bit being one. We first reset the visited bit, and then we move the sieve hand one step to hide. Now we can see sieve hand points to the object with visited bit zero, so we can directly evict this object. And then we can insert this object, new object, as the head of the queue. So that's it. That's how Sieve works. <laughs> it's clearly that Sieve also does lazy promotion, but how it achieves quick demotion by, by this moving hand. Let's take a further look and see when the Sieve hand is closer to the head of the queue, new objects are removed quickly after their insertion. Usually, the web workloads are very skewed. Sieve hand stays close to the head of the queue for a very long time, because a lot of newly inserted objects will not be assessed in a short time. So the sieve hand will directly remove them and linger there and keep do the evicting. Also, the design of sieve has other benefits. Sieve hand essentially separates the newly inserted objects and old objects. This facilitates the TTL uh, implementation, which is another common feature in web caching. Sieve offers a convenient way to discover and remove expired, expired objects. By the way, here I made a mistake. It should be faithful insertion. Actually, clock is another implementation of uh, faithful insertion. It's implemented in <laughs> ring buffer. I just noticed the error here. Uh, so. The design of Sieve achieves both lazy promotion and quick demotion. It has good efficiency and scalability, even with this very simple design. Now let's take a look at the evaluation results. We measure Sieve with a large scale of web cache workloads, including a few open source data sets and some Cydian data sets. We tested the sieve and compared with state-of-art algorithms using both libcache sim simulator and the cache and the cache lib prototype. All of our experiments are run in Cloud Lab. We open source the, the data set we use in this work and feel free to download them and try out. Let's start with the efficiency results. Since the workloads are very diverse, we cannot directly compare the miss ratio. So we use a metric called misratio reduction from faithful. This, this, this figure shows the results for different eviction algorithms. The higher, the better. The whiskers on the box plot are defined by P10, P90, and the green triangle shows the mean. The first one is SIF, and the rest are the state-of-art algorithms. Compared to others, SIF has the largest mean misratio reduction. And as a top whisker is a P90, we can see sieve reduces faithful miss ratio by more than 42% on 10% of the traces. Similarly for P10, the medium. Putting them all together, we can say sieve performs much better than all state of art algorithms. Besides evaluating sieve on production traces, we also evaluate it on the well-started ZFIN workload. We found Sieve is the best among all the state-of-the-art algorithms. Remember this figure I showed show before? Uh, we use millions of operations per second to quantify a cache's performance. Compared to LRU and the optimized LRU in CacheLib, Sieve achieves much better throughput. Also, to illustrate Sieve's simplicity, we implement Sieve in multiple different cache libraries. 
because it's so simple, it usually takes less than 20, of, 20 lines of code change in average. And there are already many implementations from the community. For example, many cache libraries have implemented Sieve in different programming languages, including Golang, Rust, JavaScript, Python, Java, C, C++, and so on. Because Sieve is so simple, it can not only serve as an independent uh, eviction algorithm, it can also work as, work as a building block for other eviction algorithms. Here, we show how Sieve can work as a cache primitive. We compare C with three very efficient cache algorithms. Lika is an ML-based algorithm. 2Q and ARC are heuristic algorithms. They all have LRUQs. We can see C already performs much better than Lika and uh, 2Q and slightly better than ARC. When we replace the LRU with C for each algorithm, we can observe significant improvement compared to the original algorithm. Due to the time limit, limit uh, we cannot cover all contents in this talk. In, this, in, in our paper, we have also discussed why sieve is effective and when sieve is not effective. We, also, we have also discussed the bad mystery show results in comparison to other ML algorithms. Please read our paper for more information if you are interested. If you want to try out sieve algorithm, there are already over 20 cache libraries with more than 10 different programming languages. And one of our Civ users uh, report that after switching their cache algorithm to Civ, they observed uh, a 33 times cache misses reduction and 16% uh, CPU savings. It's surprising. So to conclude this talk, Civ is the simplest eviction algorithm that achieves both lazy promotion and quick demotion. It uses the moving hand to retain popular objects in place. In place and remove unpopular objects quickly. It's simple, efficient, and scalable. Thanks for listening. I'm happy to take any questions.